working out with a partner is so much more fun. And I have my good friend Patty, personal trainer from Power One Fit, Palm Beach. She's going to help demonstrate some movements that you can do at home too. So let's learn how to do the dynamic warm up. We're using a 10 pound medicine ball for our dynamic warm up. Now, if you don't have a medicine ball, you can use a basketball, any other type of small ball, or you can mimic the motion. So, we're going to start out with a squat and toss. So, we squat down, she tosses it to me, and then I toss it back to her. The farther away you stand from your partner, the harder it is. So this is nice because it warms up our legs, our arms, as well as our torso. Now, we're going to go face back to back and do the over under. So, we're going to go up overhead, she reaches for it, grabs it, and then goes down below and tosses it through. So, this is looks well, pretty steady, but it's actually really challenging and fun. So it warms up our legs, our hamstrings, our torso, as well as our arms. Next, we're going to face side to side. We're going to do a lateral toss. So she's going to walk away from me a little bit more, and I'm going to toss it over to the side. Using momentum, she catches it and uses that momentum to twist through her torso. Once you've done 10 reps on one side, you can change sides with your partner and do the other side. Now that you're all warmed up, we're ready for our workout. So we're going to alternate the movements back and forth from the total gym onto the ground exercises as well as the to partner movements. Ty's going to start on the floor with a shoulder tap and leg lift and I'm on the total gym for some pull ups. We're going to our position with the two steps to the side for one minute and then we'll switch back. So as you do the movements, just keep her body in a long plank from head to heel. And then I'm lifting up, really activating the back of my shoulders, my upper back, lower back. Once we go with that minute, we change position. leg lowers. So you're going to be working your core and I need my partner to assist me by giving me more resistance and pressing my legs down. So you'll come into an incline position. It can be anywhere from high position or medium depending on your strength. I'll lift my legs up. She pushes them down and then I have to bring it back up. It's very, very challenging for both of you. After 20 reps, you're going to change your side. Now it's her turn, and you get to scoot back to your partner. And push it down. This next exercise is great for your core and your coordination, but don't kill your partner. You're going to do three twist, torso twist rotations, toss it to your partner, and then you'll alternate sides. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, you got three, two, toss, I toss it back, and then I go to the other side. I toss it back, do this three times. Great for coordination, like I said, a little bit of power, agility. And once you've done this for about a minute, you'll go and give your partner the other job. <laughs> this next exercise is so much fun. We call this the double plank slide. So we're going to come into a plank position using gravity as our resistance. We need to keep it at the highest level. We're going to do a forearm plank on one arm, a straight arm plank on the other, extend our legs to keep our core in tight. From here, we reach our arms up to the line guard and come right back down. So as we do this, we're stabilizing our shoulder, keeping our core tight, and really activating through our lats and our arms. Once we do a few of those, we'll go right into the motion. Now, this is where it takes a little coordination with your partner. So I'm going to stabilize, try to rotate to the side to side plank. I reach up the rail, and then she comes down. I go into side plank, and she does the opposite. We go through this alternating motion pattern. We work our arms, our core, stabilizing our shoulders. And then of course, we're going to change sides and work the other one. <laughs> and the last exercise is called punch and follow. So you're going to lower your incline to a low to medium level, connect your cable. Now wherever my hands go, Patty's going to follow them by either doing a static punch, high or low, or she'll do a fly. So it's not only working her arms, her shoulders, but it's also working her core. You ready? Yeah. All right. So the hard goal is to try to keep the glide board nice and still while I do a little uh, alternating punches here. You can do whatever you want. 
high and slow, or you can keep it right in the middle. She's working her torso. I'm working mine. You can stay nice and low into the squat position as well, so that you're working out as her. And then if I bring my arms together, she's going to try to follow my hands and go right into a fly. So we have to lift my arms up. She can come into a high fly, arms down, low fly. So as you can see, I'm working in a static squat position. She has to use her coordination and her core power. And once you're done with those, you switch sides and I'll do the work when she comes into my squat. So we're going to finish up this partner workout with some partner stretches. These are some of my favorites, and I know Patty's going to love them too. So we're going to take one arm across the elbow, we'll keep our legs slightly bent, backing away from each other, rounding our backs and feeling the stretch coming through our lower back. We're going to shift to one side so we feel the stretch on the side of our lower back, and then to the other side. You also feel it in your hamstring. Then we release the bottom hand and cross over and change the angle of our body just so we get a different feel of this. Side, good. You're going to hold on to one hand and you're going to rotate like a high five away from each other. So you're going to feel the stretch coming across your biceps, your shoulders, even your torso. And then you change sides. You're going to hold these stretches for a few seconds, breathe into it, and then back to center and we're going to finish off by stretching our hamstrings. We'll grab onto each other's wrists, find our balance, and then we come down into a figure four stretch. So you use each other's body resistance counterbalance. And as we do this, she's pulling against me equally as I pull against her. And then we change sides. This is a nice hip opener. As we lean down so we help each other by using our balance. Good. So these are some great exercises that you can do with a partner at home to make your workout that much more exciting. So check out Power One Fit if you're ever in Palm Beach. Thank you so much, Patty, for giving me. That was there. so much fun. <laughs> It's awesome. Grab your partner and get on your turtle gems.